summer is just ending and we are moving into the fall season which means people start thinking Christmas shopping and I know that's pretty depressing because I'm still in flip-flops and shorts right now but I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek of what Osborne has to offer in the way of holiday books I don't have them all but I think this is a great idea to for you to see what we offer. My favorite, favorite book is our Busy Santa book. These are my all-time favorite Osborne books, why I joined the business. It comes with this little car. In this case, it is a Santa in his sleigh. You pull them back and wind them up, put them on the track, and then they drive around. And sometimes they drive off the book under the couch. <laughs> um, I love these. This is a Santa one. We have non-Christmas ones if you want your kids to be able to play with it all year long. Such a unique find. Up next, a great stocking stuffer. We have our Christmas coloring, doodling and coloring book. They are about five inches tall and wide. They are a great stocking stuffer and have a lot of fun activities. Some pages have you design your own things. Some are just straight coloring. Um, drawing, all sorts of different activities in here that you can fill your days with and keep your children quiet while you're making all of those delicious Christmas cookies. For your infants and young toddlers, we have the That's Not My series. There's over 30 in this. For the holiday season, we have That's Not My Snowman, That's Not My Angel, That's Not My Elf, which is new, and That's Not My Reindeer. They're the classic touchy-feely that everyone knows Osborne for. There's a big touchy-feely on every page, the dark lines so infants can see them, and the little mouse for your children, child to spot as you read the book with them. Um, another touchy-feely that we have is the nativity, a little bit more traditional Christmas tale. The touchy-feely patches are smaller. Oops. Um, but it is the tale of Mary and Joseph. I like this for toddlers. We have a Left the Flap nativity also. My son does not do well with flaps, so I much prefer the Touchy Feely. But that is an option if you're into that. Or rather, your kids are gentler than mine. Um, Thousand and One Things to Spot, moving on to a little bit older, early elementary. There are literally a thousand and one things to spot in this book. Every page is a different theme with different things to find, fun Santas to spot. There's a lot of fun in these books. It's a great, great book. We have non-Christmas ones as well, which make the same excellent gift that your children want to use year round. Up next, I'm not going to lie, this is not my favorite book. However, I'm going to show it to you and at least be honest. Um, I don't love the stories in it. I was expecting more traditional Christmas tales, and they are ones that are made up. The illustrations are cute, but I just, I wasn't into the story. However, my son, last year was 14 months at Christmas. He picked this book out every night to read at bedtime, which might also contribute to my dislike of it, the number of times we've read it. But... There's a nice ribbon book marker. It is a very pretty book. It has a padded cover. Like I said, the illustrations are cute and it's very well done. I just don't care for the stories. They don't excite me. I, will, I was hoping for more traditional Christmas tales. So, this year, I ordered the Christmas picture book pack, which is those traditional stories I was hoping for. It has the 12 days of Christmas, it was the night before Christmas, a Christmas Carol, and the Nutcracker. Um, if you are familiar with our noisy books, these are the same books. They've just taken off that soundboard, bundled them together, and saved you a whole ton of money. They're only $14.99. It's a great value and a great way to introduce these classic tales to your children. Um, a Christmas Carol is still available as a sound book, so if that interests you and your children love that, check that out for sure. This is one of my favorite books. It is a new title this year, Advent Cal Calendar to Color. This folds out. So these pages are like regular paper. You could use crayons, colored pencils, markers on these. You can write the child's name. So for those of you that have more than one child, they don't fight over which one was theirs. 
and it folds out into this huge scene. I would say set it out on a table that your kids see every day so they remember to color it, but also like encourage them to get their army men out or their Barbies or the little Lego people. So that's the whole book, it's huge. Um, and set up a little village as they color. I think that would be super fun. We're really big into villages at my house. Um, but every day has a different door that they open, find a hidden surprise and can color. Um, they are perforated so they fold back easily, but they can also be torn off if your child just wants to display what's behind that door. So I love this. Not gonna lie, I'm ordering one for my 31 year old sister. We're really big into advent calendars. And I love this more than the chocolate ones because let's face it, the chocolate is not that good. Last but not least, this book sold out last year at the end of October, beginning of November because it was so popular leading up to Christmas. It's one of our flashlight books from the Shine the Light series. And how these work, if you're not familiar with them, you open them up. They are narrative nonfiction, so they, this one will teach a child about winter and what happens to different animals and what the weather is like. But if you shine a light or just hold them up to a light, like a window, then you see a secret image. So this one's about a snowflake and it just goes through lots of different pages, lots of different things that happen, hibernation. Um, so it's a great book. If you guys have any more questions about Christmas or holiday titles or books that would just make great gifts that could be used year-round, please let me know. Thanks so much.